Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here at the free pick in the Padres versus Blue Jays Major League Baseball matchup on Friday, April 19, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks. Our best bets use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets in that $500 to $1,000 plus range. If that's you looking for VIP concierge style service, just text the number that you see on the screen. It's easy to get. You just text the number if you make big bets like I do. But anyways, let's get to this one. We got the Padres taking on the Blue Jays. The Padres playing some decent baseball, returning home with a record over 500. And of course, the Blue Jays over 500 as well, but with both these teams sitting just a game over 500, well, someone's going back to 500 at the end of this one, and someone will be two games over 500. It really is that simple. We got uh, Matt Waldron on the mound for the Padres. Not really a household name here, but he's had three starts this season. The Padres have lost all three of those games. He's got a decision in just one of them, but he's got a 3.14 ERA. So here's the thing about starting pitches, pitchers and records that I talk about all the time. It is meaningless because we see guys with much higher ERAs who have pitched much worse than this guy with, uh, you know, better records. But the thing is, he hasn't pitched like, you know, he's not like Jacob deGrom or something. He's allowed 15 hits and 14 and a third, five runs, six walks, which I hate, right? And uh, just one home run though. So, you know, home runs and walks are just really the worst thing that a pitcher could could do but walks to me is just number one always on that list because it's like you're just self-destructive you give up a home run it means you were going for it and they just beat you or you, you missed you know and, and and that happens but you know when you're walking guys it's just like come on man just get the ball over the plate meanwhile with the blue jays go with rodriguez in this one of course he comes in with a lot of fan for fair last time out he went three and two thirds innings and that's the thing about this guy is that he's come out of the pen throughout his minor league career he's never been a guy that's been able to extend it and of course last time out was his first major league appearance and major league start he allowed four hits and a run two walks six strikeouts which was fully expected that he has that type of stuff and one home run in in, in three and two thirds you know the top end speed it's arguable i have him in, in the 93 range Chris Rufo on the live show claims he's 97. I, I haven't seen anything that says he's 97. But the thing is, is that, you know, he does have good stuff. He just can't go that far into games. And that's the problem with him. You know, he's, he's a Cuban import. We know those guys generally know exactly what they're doing out there on the mound. They're called one age and normally they're about 10 years older than that. So, you know, they're known for it, right? We look at the, uh, at the Padres hitting. They're hitting righties at 268 and uh, lefties at 209 while the Blue Jays are hitting righties at 224 and lefties at 256. But it's the bullpen that concerns me here for the Blue Jays because they're going to be in it early with this guy. And the way the Padres are hitting the baseball and with that 5.53 ERA for the bullpen, uh, I'm a little concerned about the Jays in this spot. The Padres also extremely good in these interleague games, 21-7 and seven in their last 28 on, in the interleague. And, uh, you know, we look at Toronto, just 2-7 and seven in their last nine on the natural grass. I'm going to take the Padres in this one. And that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.